Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel and uh, sorry about a delay this time. I've just been so busy with the bridal season and uh, I'm not complaining certainly. It's such a pleasure dolling up girls for their B-days. And today's tutorial is about uh, one of my favorite luxury makeup brand called Dior. So I am already done with the foundation and everything and I'm going to today use the Dior uh, Splendor palette in number 776. So uh, I've always had a lot of uh, requests saying to use palettes from Lancome and Dior and Chanel and uh, Dior just recently sent this to me and I'm absolutely in love. What totally takes me like I'm like I'm totally bowled over by the packaging of course and of course the way the product feels. So this is palette number 776 and if you see it's got beautiful shades of uh, golds and browns and it also has a pale plum and a white highlighter and that perfect alien skin gold right so here yeah, I'm just gonna start and I already have my eyeshadow primer on my lips I've used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm gonna start with this look now so just to begin with I am going to take the medium color in here and uh, just take this over my brush I'm using the Morphe Morphe 513 and uh, on my fluffy brush and I just kind of take it into my crease line right here so this instantly creates a bit of depth again taking the same color and I just take it into my crease line to make it a beautiful transition color while doing so I'm going to make sure I just kind of blend it really well the idea is that it should go a little bit outside the natural crease of the eye so this is uh, one way to fake uh, bigger eyes I mean if you're somebody who's got smaller eyes you have to make sure that you take the color outside your natural crease line right now I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush and the one I'm using is 239 by MAC. So I'm just going to take this beautiful pale plum pink whatever color it is and I'm going to apply it all over my lip. And what is absolutely incredible is how pigmented this eyeshadow is. Oh my god look at that. And that is just one coat. And if you're somebody who's worried that your eyeshadow is going to fall down onto your foundation, just take some loose powder on a small brush and apply it on your under eye. This is called an eye guard and in case some kind of eyeshadow falls down, it will not ruin your foundation. But this is the thing about good brands that the fallout in their product is very less and yes that's what exactly I've realized so this is just one coat of eyeshadow on my base and I'm again taking the same color and I'm going to apply another coat of the same eyeshadow to blend it all you have to do is take your fluffy brush and just kind of take it all over it in case you are somebody who likes your makeup more dramatic, you can again take the same color that you took in your crease line on your fluffy brush and just take it all over the crease again. I'm now going to break the monotony of this uh, lid and I am just going to take the lightest color I have here. You can take any small brush for it and I'm just going to apply it into my inner corners I'm also going to bring it a little bit on my lower lid and I'm going to apply the same color on my brow bone so applying a color on the inside corner of the eyes kind of instantly opens them up and brightens them up so if you're somebody who's got deep set eyes or very small eyes this is one trick I really recommend and you can always use it to always make your eyes look more glamorous so 
and now i'm going to take the darkest color in this palette and for this i'm going to use my brush the morphe e17 and i just kind of dip it into the darkest color now and just take it at the outer corner in a v shape what i love is i mean you don't really have to kind of work too hard in getting these colors onto the lids it is so pigmented that like just one little stroke of the brush and you have all the color onto the brush and just one little stroke here and all the color has gone up and what i see is bare minimum color fallout so i'm just going to blend this out now and that's about it we are done or am i guys done with both my eyes just to give you a better look at it and i have just done my regular eyeliner a slight wing and i've also given myself a uh, minimalistic lashes so i hope you like the eyes i've done on myself so effortless and so easy and if you see that there was no fallout practically so remember when you have good eye shadows and you use the right eye shadow brush your eye shadow fall fall out will always be minimal now i'm going to show you another product that i've totally fallen in love with and uh, you know how big highlighters are these days you know where you get those beautiful dewy cheekbones and uh, this is the product that i'm going to share with you it's called the diorific splendor powder compact illuminating pressed powder right and of course do i need to say to you every time that i'm absolutely sold out on dior's packaging oh my god it looks like it's so beautiful right so this is the box that it came in and uh, this is the velvet package it it came in and once you open it this is what it looks like right here i'm going to just open this up for you now and this is what it looks like right so absolutely gorgeous beautiful gold powder and uh, i'm just going to swatch this on my hand also so just swatched it i'm going to do a bigger swatch all over my palm so that you can see what it looks like look at that shine guys it's absolutely beautiful and uh, what i love about this color that it's perfect for indian skin tone so i kind of received this about almost 5 days back and i've already used it on uh, four five brides of mine and i'm okay love the other thing that i want to talk about is a brush that comes with it so this is what came in that velvet pouch as well and uh, they sent you a beautiful brush with dior written on it and um, the bristles are made out of real hair remember guys brushes that are made out of real goat hair or horse hair or anything will always have better application on the face than synthetic brushes right and another thing that i want to talk about the shape of this brush is that it's so perfect for this cheekbone so all you need to do is get a product onto it and apply it on your cheekbones like that so here i'm just taking this color now and i dip my brush in it always dust the extra off and give it a good sweep on your cheekbones so there you go i've totally blended it out into my blush as well and so this is what it looks like so this is the area where i haven't applied it and this is with the highlighter so if you're looking for a beautiful minimal gorgeous sheen which is nothing over the top and perfect and oh so classy this is the product to buy i also recommend that you can always take the brush all over the bridge of your nose right and give it a little sweep on your cupid's bow and a little bit right here and you can 
swipe the rest all across, all across your forehead. And I always like to highlight my cheeks. Collarbone cheek. What am I saying? Collarbone. And now guys, I'm going to finish this look with a beautiful nude lipstick from Dior. And the color that I'm going to use is shade 060 and it's called the Rouge Dior Premium. So this is what this beautiful pink looks like. And uh, let me get started. So I've just lined my lips with the Dior Lip Liner Pencil in shade 756. It's called the Euphoric Matte. And uh, now I'm going to use this lipstick that I just showed you guys. It is just so beautiful, creamy, glides all, all over your lip in one go. And what I like about it is that even with a creamy texture, the color is really strong. So there you go, I'm all done. And uh, totally recommend these lipsticks you know there are a lot of times uh, like most makeup artists end up using a lot of matte lipsticks that's because they're long lasting as well and um, however I do feel that if you use uh, a lot of creamy lipsticks they're not very color packed right so in case you're looking for a creamy lipstick if you're somebody who's, whose lips always remain kind of dry the Dior Rouge Premier lipsticks is the way to go I'm gonna be uh, also using the other lipsticks and you're gonna be seeing them all over my Instagram so make sure you do follow me on Instagram my handle is Chani Singh Studio so keep watching and in case you're looking for something certain leave a comment below trust me I might sometimes skip replying to you but I read all the comments and sometimes I even reply if I can so stay gorgeous and keep safe.